this video is going to be very quick because my phone battery is literally only on about 10% so I can so this is going to be as quick as I possibly can do and this is probably words you would probably never hear me utter in when it in regards to TF Nation but has there ever been now this this is a question that is mostly relating to people that have been in the past at least a couple times at least or even just the once um so basically a recurring person that has that goes to tfn every year or someone that has at least been once or twice but this is a question i wanted to ask now that we're back from tf nation and i thought why not I know it's a little bit of a depressing subject to a degree, but it's just if you can if you could call this a feedback thing as well. But has there ever been times or a time that you've kind of regretted since coming back or since you know have you ever regretted something from going to a TF Nation? It could be something as it could be something like not talking to as many people as you would have liked or it could have been not meeting a certain guest for whatever reason it may be or it could be you missed out on a panel that you was really looking forward to seeing and you just missed out or it could be just it could be anything in general to you personally and for me there has been a couple of things over the years that I've regretted um, it could be one of the regrets, my regrets is not talking to people properly. Um, I know this is a very difficult thing. It is kind of impossible to talk to everybody for long periods of time or at least one good conversation because people are doing their own thing. They could be with their girlfriends or with their wives. They could be with their kids. They could be having some you know, time to themselves. Um, but there has been times where I have literally had like a very, very many brief discussions, literally just walking down the hallway, going to the dealer room or going to a panel or going back to the bar. And I've seen somebody I recognize and I've only managed to say hello or a quick handshake or something or a quick hug. And I've never actually spoken to them for the rest of the weekend. Which does make me feel a little bit guilty because, you know, they've obviously clocked me, I've clocked them, they know me from whatever reason it could be, it could be due to my YouTube channel, or, could, or people just know me off of my social medias, accounts and things, which is fine. But, uh, you know, I do feel a little bit, you know, I do feel a bit crap when that happens, even though I do speak to loads of people over the entire weekend. But it's just those people that I have a very fleeting, very brief brief hello to or something. Um, I'm one of these people that love to give people, love, you know, I just love to talk to people at TF Nation uh, as many as I possibly can. And I, even though I do stress it is difficult to keep track of everybody um, because... It is one of those type of things, but that is one regret is not being able to spend time with people properly before they go home or if they're only there for the day, for instance. Another regret has to be mostly in response to this year. And I never got to meet any of the voice actor guests, even though I have met Greg Berger in the past and I've had a photograph with him. But I would love to have met him this year because of a certain thing that happened going back a few years now. And it was a voice actor called Andre Sugaluza who came, who was the voice of Sad Swipe in, I think, Revenge of the Fallen, the second live action film. And he came as a, as a special guest that year. And he came up to me in the bar on, I think it was the friday or i think it was on a friday evening or whatever and he was in the bar talking to fans talking to people there and he came up to me and he recognized me saying i love your videos man and he said he had a message for me from greg berger 
And uh, so I went to his table and he told me what the message was. He basically said, oh, Greg Berger says hi, by the way, because this is, was in relation to a, a comment I'd received on one of my videos, which was, again, talking about TF Nation regrets. And um, so basically that was that. So basically, yeah, Greg Berger officially commented one of my videos once and I didn't realise it was him at the time, but that kind of confirmed it was. Um, and he, he, he did a shout out to me. Uh, Andre Sagloza did a shout out to me on stage as well, but I wasn't, I didn't actually hear it, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, so that's another regret as well, I would say, from the past TFN, not being there for when he did that um, because I completely missed it. Um, but no, I wanted to meet Greg because I wanted to kind of shake his hand and speak to him face to face, but I never got the chance and the time just got away from me this year. And it's again, one of them things. And, um, yeah, I regret going near him, but he, he was so busy. He was swamped and I saw him once in the breakfast hall, you know, having breakfast one, one of them up one morning. And I was going to just say hello to him, but I thought the guy's on his own. He's having his breakfast. I thought I'd be respectful. And I'll just leave him be. Um, because, you know, I don't like doing that to people, especially when they're having a, a moment to themselves, you know. Um, but yeah, so that's a regret. That is a regret for this year that and I never got to meet Greg Berger and just help say hello to him and just see how he is. Um, and also I never got to meet David K either. It was a weird year this year that the time just got away from me. I was so much into, I was, I was having so many conversations in the bar. I was talking to people. I missed out on panels this year. I literally only managed to make three panels. <clears throat> I only managed to make three panels, and that was uh, David Kerr's panel, uh, Michael Charles Hill's panel, and part two of David Kerr's panel, and then um, and the end ceremony and everything. That, they were literally the only things I actually managed to see. Um, there was some stuff I wanted to see on the Friday. There was some stuff I wanted to see throughout the Saturday and the Sunday, and I missed everything. Because it was one of those things where I was having, I was just having so much fun in people's presence, in people's company, and the time just got away from me, which is a regret because you know the TFN people kind of, you know the the people behind the scenes they put on a great show, and I feel in myself when I come back from TFN I feel like shit. I missed all that in first hand. I know that they upload it afterwards. A lot of the, all the panels and stuff, everything gets recorded officially and then gets put up on the TF Nation YouTube channel. But seeing it in person and then seeing it afterwards as an uploaded video, there's a big difference. Um, I'd rather see it in first hand rather than when it's finished and done, you know. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's that, but, uh, but yeah, the main regret for this year's, the main regrets for this year's is missing a lot of the programming on the schedule, not talking to, um, you know, f you know, uh, not, not just this year, but throughout the time that I've been going to these conventions, there's been some people that I've not been able to talk to properly because whatever you. And this year as well, not not meeting any of the voice actor guests, including you know Greg and David K. Uh, but yeah, the, I guess those are my regrets um, from this year's and also in past years. I know I'm probably gonna get comments saying this video didn't need to be made. No, it didn't need to be made. And you know, I, I know people will be like, oh, don't be so so hard on yourself, so to speak, and so on and so forth. I understand that. Um, I'm not being hard on myself. It's just I want to. I wanted to just reflect post thoughts. Now that we've been back, I think we're in the third week since I. I think yeah. I think this week is or this weekend is the third weekend since I come home. So it's like been three weeks since coming home, and over the past week or so since coming home, I've been thinking about like the things that I missed out on from this year's. And I just thought, sod it, I'm going to make a video and just get it out off my chest and get it out there and just see if anyone else 
has anything that they regret and if they're coming again next year or if they're thinking of coming to a TFL in the near future um if if it's something that they are hoping to try and rectify next time i mean for me i would like to try and rectify and try and spend more time with people that i have a brief discussion with or ha only had brief discussions with in the past um i would like to tr if they are going next year or whatever or if i see them again in the future i want to actually make it kind of paramount to actually have a decisive conversation with as many as i can um and also going forward depending on money and how things go like you know and all that sort of thing i think if there's a certain guest i really want to see um whether it's like a returning guest like greg berger for instance or if it's someone like david k or a voice actor that I've always wanted to meet. I'm going to see about making it apparent that I have one of those autograph sessions, uh, one of them autograph, photograph, autograph and photograph sort of special meet and greet things. I'm going to make it apparent to try and get one of them booked for the future because that way I don't miss out on meeting those guests because I've already paid for this thing. I'm going to get a very nice photograph with them. I'm going to get something autographed from them. And it's going to be much more of a memorable thing to keep. So I think going forward, even though I've never really bothered with these uh, with these meet and greets, because they started them last year when Sue Blue came and I couldn't afford to meet. I couldn't afford to do the Sue Blue one because I just couldn't afford it, simple as. So depending on how my financial situation is in the in the future for future TFNs, I am actually considering on probably taking them up with these special meet and greet packages that they do now. Um, because that way I'm not going to miss out on meeting that special guest and I'm not going to have any more regrets, hopefully, in the near future. Um Oh, I'm just going to try and make more time to meet guests. If I can't afford to do one of those meet and greets in the future, then I'm going to try and make it more apparent that I make time to go and see the guests. Whether it, whether it's on a Sunday, whether it's a bit more quieter, things like that, I'm going to try and make time to meet the guests. Either way. But anyway, so there we are. There's the video. Thank you very much for watching. Please comment below if you're interested in sharing any regrets, any anything that you feel is a regret to you. Um, I know it's a not very nice thing to talk about in relation to a very positive weekend that it was, and it's a great event and all, but I want to, you know, you could call this a feedback thing if it's something very specific that you regret, um, or if it's just something that you wish you could have done but you missed out on, something as simple as that. Um, but anyway, there we are. Thank you very much. Take care. Bye-bye.